That's like a dungeon back there. Like, yeah. They all the time we were here, someone came in there. What was that? Did you hear that? Yep. Mm -hmm. that. Definitely heard that. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I heard something there. Wait, that's not funny. Mm -hmm. I definitely heard something. Looks like somebody was moving. We can literally not see to the end of the garden. Really spooky. Quite an interesting night, therefore, to go on a ghost tour. So tonight, I am meeting another YouTuber who has appeared in this vlog before, the wee Scottish lass. And yeah, we're going into the middle of Edinburgh to do a ghost tour tonight on a foggy, foggy night. Should be interesting. I've never been on a late night ghost tour here in Edinburgh. A bit apprehensive about that. But anyway, we're going. Oh, spooky, spooky, go. Look at that. That is some serious fog, folks. Haha, <laughs> should be interesting. <laughs> There's a tune. We're here in Edinburgh City Centre. Someday performing. <laughs> Hiya! Hello, you alright? I'm alright, good to see you. <laughs> it's good to see you as well. How are you? I'm back here again with Moscow in the vlog. You might remember a couple of, it was like months ago already. It was, yeah, I can't believe how fast that went in. Yeah, we did a, a vlog in the abandoned mental insane asylum in uh, near, Bangor. near Bangor, yeah. Uh, so yeah, we're here in Edinburgh City Centre and we're going to do a ghost tour. Yes. And a really spooky late night ghost tour. And I don't really like doing the late night ones because they are spooky sometimes. So yeah, should be good fun. I'm excited. This one's over 18 as well. So it's going to be... Don't know what that means. Me neither. <laughs> Over 18, <laughs> that could mean anything. Um, but if you guys haven't already seen Moscow's vlogs, I'm pretty sure you must have. But if not, I'm going to leave a link down below. Go and check her out if you haven't. Uh, she makes awesome vlogs about Scotland, so you need to go and see them. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we're going to do this tour. So I've done a lot of ghost tours in and out, but have you done a few before? I've done two. So what did you think? As many as you... <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. The thing is, like, they've become really commercial like so many tourists come to the city so they they used to be really raw but nowadays they're very like they, they hire actors to do the kind of stuff scary stuff yeah and i think they've been softened down for the tourists but like this one could be different because it's late at night so and over 18 as well so yeah we shall see but anyway i'm excited i quite fancy getting a wee drink in before we start yeah let's get a drink <laughs> We're in the bar and we're drinking Iron Brew, but of course we are, because this stuff runs in our veins. We're from Scotland. Yeah, exactly. It's like, pretty much our blood. It's just like, everybody I know here drinks Iron Brew, and everybody, there's lots of people that comment on my videos like, what the hell is that stuff you drink? There you go, Iron Brew. Iron Brew. It, like, how, I don't even know how to describe Iron Brew, but it's just brilliant. If you come to Scotland, drink it. Yes. Well, the last one is always the one that's going to be... <laughs> Just missed it. I wasn't filming, but Moscow just jumped out of her skin. I know. Just by looking at you people, at your faces, I know that you're here for the dark stuff. <laughs> yeah. Times change, but people don't. Bloodthirsty crowds. People just like you. They came here to watch public punishments and executions. They loved a bit of dripping blood and broken bones, spilling guts and screams of agony. It was first class family entertainment. It always starts off with a dramatic, scary story. Just a little bit. It's good if you're a tourist and you don't know like <laughs> the history. history, Edinburgh and Scotland and all that. Let's get it close. Go for all the wee closest to add to dramatic effect. There's loads of these like really narrow streets in Edinburgh. They're spooky. Lots of history involved as well. I bet you find like in the mornings loads of people like drunk passed out here in these lanes. Okay. Like underwear and stuff. We used to throw like, <laughs> sheet through the window, now they throw underwear. So hi, people used to do the garlic guardi loo. People used to do the guardi loo and throw human waste out the window. Nowadays they throw knickers. Everything went into that bucket. Life is visible. It's all trigger. Yeah, <laughs> pick a nightclub now. 
Storm Arsch. So we're ready for the storm. Here we go. We're going down. Oh, it's nice and warm in here. Let's go into the vaults. I don't know if I'm happy about this. My camera's steamed up. Look at that. It's so warm in here, I know. My lens is steamed up, that is adding to the spooky effect. Unsteam it. My camera is totally steamed up. That is really spooky. marks, possessions, people being slapped or pushed around, all that kind of wonderful stuff. And we like to call him the Watcher, because he likes to keep an eye on things. Sometimes he <clears throat> lurks around the groups or he follows us across the vaults. That's when people hear those footsteps. And <clears throat> actually, those who see him say he's a very unpleasant looking man. <clears throat> Tall, thin, grim-faced man wearing a dirty blue coat and a pair of long black leather boots. And that's how he makes those footstep noises, of course. And the boots are also the reason why he has another nickname. They call him Mr. Boots. And, well, good luck. That's all I can say because I'll be the first to run. At least if anything happens to me here, I've got it on film. <laughs> Go more. I don't want to be so far in the corner. That's like a dungeon back there. What was that? Did you hear that? Definitely heard that. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I heard something there. Wait, that's not funny. I definitely heard something. Right, that, that's the first time I've actually really heard something down here. Yeah, me too. I don't know if I got that on film, but I heard something in that corner where the dungeon was. Mm -hmm. The good thing about having this camera on me with the screen is I can see who's behind me. Okay, there she is. Why, I'm never going in there. I stay outside because this is the most haunted one that we have. The watcher's favorite place. This is where <clears throat> people get scratched or sometimes even, um, sometimes people see him or hear him whispering in their ear. I can't let you leave this hidden and haunted tour without a little bedtime story. But when she had told him the story... Oh. I think we're going back up. Moscow's been given the task of being the last one out. Maybe she should just not go and give them all a fight. <laughs> what did you think of it? It was, it was good. The thing is, we all heard something. We all heard something we in the same place. We did hear something. And that's, of all the tours I've been on, I've never heard anything about that. We heard anything apart from that. And then we can hear loads of drunk people. Aye. That's at Edinburgh on a Saturday night. Yes. Um, but it was good fun. Thank you very much for inviting me. Yeah, good to you're see welcome. you again. We need to catch up more often. Check out Moss's channel. She's amazing. If you haven't already, there's a link down below. Hit the subscribe button. Leave comments. Go and check out our latest video. All that kind of stuff. I'm going to call this vlog a night. So it's been good fun here. Hopefully, I'll talk to you again really soon. Have a good night.